On March 6th, 1998, a raging EF4 tornado slabs Hazleton from the hill homes down to the residential area of Hazleton. Damage was seen from the westernmost point of Hazleton to the easternmost point of Hazleton. This was a very serious thing. We're going to be talking about it all here right now. The Hazleton EF4. First thing that happened that day is uh, we were just kind of messing around. It was really fun, honestly. Um, th th things happened. It's very interesting. Anyway, all that happened on this day at the Hazleton gas station at 8:42 a.m. and hours later, our fun spot turned into a death spot. Next on our timeline, we have the tornado Mezzo forms. This picture was taken in downtown Hazleton at 10.32 a.m. As you can see, the Mezzo forms and the size is estimated to be about 1,000 to 1,400 feet when it first formed. See the Mezzo right there. This is an image of when the tornado first touched down. As you can see, as you can see from the image, it was taken at the National Weather Service building in Hazleton at 11.02 a.m. The tornado touches down as an invisible but powerful tornado. This picture was taken on radar at the local news station. This is a clip from what happened there. We cannot stress this enough. This is a white debris ball on Hazleton. This is a big situation. We cannot stress this enough. You need to get in your shelters now if you aren't. 10 killer, Hazel, especially Hazleton, 10 killer, maybe even Redina. You need to get in your shelters right now. This thing is coming your way, and it is a fury coming with it see that white debris ball right there that means lots of destruction in hazelton our state capital this is going to get wild of course this was a very important moment it was taken at radar aka the, the news station and in hitting and it was focused on Hazleton, and a white debris ball shows up on the radar showing lots of destruction in the Hazleton area. Now, this is when the tornado makes its first contact with the ground. You can see damage already being done to main town Hazleton, but the hill homes were already completely destroyed. This is a little bit of a closer look at was uh, what was happening you can see that homes were already suffering ef2 to ef3 damage that was clearly a multi-vortex and the hill homes are already either slabbed or being slabbed i'm gonna add this onto our little timeline here and the hill homes in southwest hazelton First contact with ground is a multi vortex. Now we have this. In my opinion, the most important shot in this entire tornado's history. You can see lots of chaos happening. You can see that 219 miles per hour. That was its peak at 219 miles per hour, easily EF5. But the National Weather Service did rate it in EO5. 
a four based on the damage. Should have been a five. And um, yeah, you can see that Hazelton strip exploded. And that's very important. And this was taken in Hazelton downtown at 11.37 a.m. The tornado becomes whole and Hazelton explodes. This is a shot of Hazelton right after the tornado. You can see lots of destruction all around. Skyscrapers reaching high are now cut in half by this tornado. And the Hazelton Water Tower stands strong. Truly, truly devastating. This is our final timeline from this chase in 1998. And this, this is the damage caused. Lots of EF4 markers, and we have EF4 markers where it didn't even touch anything. Didn't touch that part. That's all Winfield, and it got EF4 rating. That is insane. Anyway, the damage cost for this tornado was one billion. 845 million, 573,000, and 324 dollars. Costliest tornado in Hazelton, and just key soda history. The EF rating was EF4, at the time was F5, but was later revised to EF4. The peak size was 2,986 feet, AKA about half a mile, maybe a little bit more. And the track length was 1.38 miles. Not long, but sure does show what a small length, small track length tornado can do. This has been the Hazelton. E F four.